After very successful stops in Europe and along the American West Coast, Kanye is preparing to take the Vulture's listening experience to a location with quite a rich history. I love Leaky! Only four days ago, on March 15th, we got the initial news break that Kanye was planning a show at the Saqqara Pyramid site on April 20th from one singular Instagram account named Scoop Empire. Now, normally we would have written this off as untrustworthy since nobody else was reporting on it and Kanye himself said nothing. But just yesterday, we found out that this pyramid performance is in fact 100% real and scheduled to take place. Early in the day yesterday, March 18th, 18th, we saw the online event and ticket sales go up for this Vulture show, clarifying that the performance would be taking place at the Pyramid of Djoser, which is also called the Step Pyramid. According to the event listing and ticket sales, the show is apparently supposed to run for five full hours, which is just bonkers if it is indeed correct. The Step Pyramid of Djoser is located in the necropolis of Saqqara, which is basically just the ruins of the ancient city of Saqqara. The Step Pyramid itself was under renovation for nearly 14 years before being reopened in December of 2021 to the public. And while this pyramid is not part of the Great Pyramids of Giza, Saqqara is really quite close to Cairo, so it shouldn't be too far of a trek for fans that want to attend this Vulture's performance. Now, it is pretty common for artists to host shows at the Great Pyramids of Giza, but from what I can tell, the Step Pyramid of Djoser has rarely, if ever, been utilized for this purpose, making Kanye and Ty's appearance there something truly unique. The obvious elephant in the room with the new Egyptian Vulture show is the possibility of it being cancelled later on, similar to what happened with Travis Scott's planned show at the Pyramids of Giza. Back in July of last year, Travis announced and even sold out tickets for a full Utopia concert at the Pyramids, only to be informed by the Egyptian government that he would not be allowed to host the show there, with their reasoning being centered around concerns over satanic rituals and imagery stemming from the AstroFest incident. The fact that Travis and Live Nation were able to set that show up and sell tickets before being shut down makes me think the very same thing could happen to the Vultures. Of course, we all know that the AstroFest incident was a horrible tragedy, but it was absolutely not part of a satanic ritual to sacrifice people, which is something that unfortunately the Egyptian government were not willing to be convinced of. Based on that, I could see them conjuring up some reasoning to deny Kanye and Ty's request to perform at the Step Pyramid perhaps on grounds of conflicting religious imagery or something of the sort. The other obvious elephant in the room is the possibility that this show in just over a month could be the very next time we hear Vultures 2 in a live setting from Kanye. I personally think the May 3rd date from the Baby Keem account is completely fake, but this concert being planned so far out from where we are currently does not give me a good feeling about the potential for a Vultures 2 release before the end of March or even April. It's important to remember that shows the past couple of weeks were announced and held all within the span of less than a few days. So just because we don't have anything on the calendar yet does not mean it isn't in the works. I'm guessing Kanye just needed a lot more time to set things up for this show, so they had to move forward with planning and announcement much earlier than normal. I also strongly believe that if the May 3rd date was real, that some authority figures from Kanye's team, like Aus Taylor, 88 Keys, or Trackster, would have come out and confirmed or reiterated the Baby Keem date. We've heard basically nothing from them regarding a delay or release date for that matter, so for me personally, until I hear it from one of them or Ye, I'm not fully buying anything. We got an update on New Body yesterday from Joyboy, who amended his previous statement from a few days ago. Joyboy revealed that the new feature replacing Nikki's verse was supposed to be Doja Cat, but that her management blocked this from happening, so it is now some other mystery artist. I've personally been gunning for either Megan The Stallion or Cardi B to take the place of Nikki on the song, but Doja would have been sick as well. It's just unfortunate we got blocked from hearing how good New Body could have sounded. And finally, to wrap things up, we got a slightly new snippet of Love, Love, Love with just a few extra words from Kanye that we previously had not heard.
it's important to remember that the version of Love 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 we've heard in snippets so far is from December of 2022, so the song has likely undergone some significant changes since then, including the addition of Thai vocals, I would assume, since the song was on a previous Vultures 1 tracklist. <laughs> It's no secret how badly people want Love Love Love, and at this point I would say it's not at all impossible for it to be included on an eventual Vultures 2 drop if Kanye actually locks the fuck in to finish the album. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And let me know down in the comments if you think the Step Pyramid show will actually happen or if it'll get shut down before April 20th by the Egyptian government.